Is there anything that these series can do differently to kind of push the word respect back to drivers and not just I don't want them, I don't want these comments to be blanket statements where it's like, yeah, the drivers need more respect or we need this, we need that, which is true. But what can we do or what can the drivers do? What can the series do to move forward to start to rectify this issue? Because it's nationwide. It's across the board. 206K X30. Obviously, X30 is a little bit better in senior. It looked like this weekend. The shifter stuff, you have a smaller crowd. At the you're in a lot of the same front runners. Seem to have that respect. So, Race, you've been involved in a lot of these discussions. You've talked about series. You and I talk at length about what we should do better for the sport. What do you think, if anything, these series can do better or that they aren't doing that they should be doing? Um, I am definitely in favor of having a separate driver's meeting per class. It's pretty – I think it could be pretty easy to do even if they did it, you know, after right after qualifying. You, you go to an area where they meet with your class specifically and they can come up with, you know, current events and things that are either problems or talking points for drivers and the series to talk back to the drivers specifically on. Um, I think that could help and I think it'd be pretty easy to implement. And then, you know, between drivers, um, you know, I always just try and have an open line of communication with anybody. Um, I approached uh, Brandon after the incident. Um, I also approached uh, John Burke because we got into it Saturday. Um, and I was, you know, like I said, I went right up to Jeremy after our incident. So, um, you know, just having an open dialogue with, with your competition and your your fellow competitors, I think, is is super important, and it shows a lot about uh, your character. Jake, Marion, what can the sport do to kind of get some respect back going here? What do you guys think? I mean, um, I don't think that the the driver the driver meeting separate classes is a good thing, really, because we have that in Europe, and I know no one says a thing, and we just listen to whatever the race director has to say, and that's it. We leave. So um, yeah, I don't think that's really the thing that needs working it's just the drivers need to talk to each other a bit more um because i feel like in x30 especially at the top we've all got quite a bit of respect for each other and we leave each other just enough room on the track like we get very close and the racing is very hard but um yeah we've got enough respect to like not take each other out so um i think just a little bit more of that people need people need to become a bit more friends with each other and um and you see that on track as well jake what about you I mean, I, I wouldn't think it would be whole much of what the series can do. It's more of kind of what uh, Ray said and even um, Marion said it was is drivers just need to talk more. And certain classes, you know, like you were saying, the front runners of X30, um, even even us shifter guys, you know, we respect each other, have been racing against each other for a while. But like the K senior, you got a lot of juniors moving up. You have uh, guys like me and Race uh, that have been racing for a while. And it, it's a lot of unknown driver to driver. And uh, it's just an easier way to, you know, have conflict. You know, we don't really know each other that well. We don't know how we race around each other. And sometimes, you know, they're throwing in stupid moves and over blocking and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It's not, I mean, I don't know if the really, the series can do a whole lot about it. It's just more of what the drivers can do talking about it with each other. Brandon, what do you think here? Can the series do anything to kind of rectify? Is there anything the drivers can do or a movement to get the drivers unionized in a way? Well, I definitely think, you know, talking to each other would help. Um, I know, like, a long, long time ago, Zach Holden and I, we always had issues on the track. And it, it wasn't necessarily – I didn't dislike Zach. Zach didn't dislike me. It was – honestly, it was kind of mainly our parents. I mean, we were young enough where they are influencing kind of what we thought. I mean, we were 10, 11, 12 at the time. So um, – but then, like, we were at Daytona one year. Zach and I just started talking, and then my friend group kind of met his friend group and vice versa. And then everything kind of got better. And it was, I kind of talked to my parents, like, hey, this guy's not that bad. So, you know, I mean, obviously now I'm older. Everybody's older now. We can all make decisions on our own. Um, and I, I talked to people on the grid. Like, I was wish Chase Hand luck. I had never talked to him before. I, I talked to Jeremy. Um, not that much, but, you know, I, I know what he's done. I, I, he seems respectful and everything like that. And I was, like, shaking hands with people before the race. And uh, I didn't have an issue with anybody on track except for race. So, I mean, it was just – it seems like talking helped. Um, it, it helped back then, but I, as for a serious standpoint, I, I don't know. I mean, I hate when people tell me how to do my job. I don't want to tell them how to do theirs, but I, don't, I really don't know what, what could help. So, I mean, um, yeah, as for talking, I, I think that would probably be best. The driver's meeting, separate driver's meeting. I don't, don't know about that one. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. That's probably the best option I could think of now. 
Braden, what about you? I mean, what do, what do we do to kind of work on this? Like you said, you've you've noticed a last lack of respect, but the aggression hasn't gone down or up in any way. I mean, is there anything to kind of turn that back around? Yeah, I, I definitely think uh, if the drivers just talk to each other more, I mean, that's definitely the best thing. I think uh, if you like, if all the drivers, as soon as they have an alternation altercation on track, just go and talk to the guy, like two weekends, the racing would be twice as clean as it is now, like 100%. Um, that, and then also just, I mean, most of the, most of the team owners and all that, and all, most of the coaches I'm sure are, are good, but there's definitely some coaches and team owners out there that encourage that. So I think also it will start with the team owners all taking crackdown and telling the drivers, no, like you cannot, this isn't acceptable. You need to drive clean. You need to, to make your passes. You need to set up your passes and make them cleanly. And if you can't do that, then don't make the move. I think that would also help some. Polly, now that you've heard some responses, do you have any other thoughts or anything to add? Yeah, I definitely think um, the only thing I could say about the series, like there's not much, like everybody said, not much they could really do. But um, if you kind of see a driver that's constantly causing problems, just kind of first have a have a conversation with them, say, hey, then no more of this stuff or else we're going to have to throw you out. We're going to have to ban you for a race or – come back keep doing it then you're done for the year kind of i think you kind of do that um after you have the talk with them if they're kind of not listening just say hey you're you're done you're done for the weekend whatever but uh no i definitely think going out and talking to other drivers is definitely a big help you kind of just kind of get to know everyone and you guys have a respect for each other and uh kind of like you know i'm new with Kremers, but i didn't actually i've never actually met him but um when he first came here, you know, we were both starting in the back. We said, what's up? Let's go to the front. Kind of that type of deal. It's not, you don't, you don't really have to just, just, uh, you don't have to talk to them for long. You don't have to be all buddy, buddy with them, but you kind of just show them that respect and they show you that respect. Jeremy, what do you think here? New kid on the block, rookie on the year. I mean, like definitely people. I mean, I've drove with like Burke since mini. We raced in K this weekend. I mean, we raced really hard, but we never wrecked each other as people I've never raced, you know, it's kind of hard to know what they're going to do and figure out what you want to do to get around them. But definitely the talking part. I mean, I did talk to Brandon a little bit. I talked to race more and I mean, just being more vocal helped me out quite a bit. I think this one was good. And this was a one, uh, a comment sent in on Facebook here from Frank Mistand- uh, Mistandria. I think this is something actually that if the series could afford the time and to have uh, kind of the protest official or even just the penalty official kind of be able to mediate this a little bit similar to how this conversation is going in the case of Brandon and race earlier, you know, instead of just going up to the driver and giving them a penalty slip for something they did, pulling the victim aside too, and having a conversation with both drivers prior to issuing the penalty. I think that's actually kind of an out of the box idea that wouldn't really cost a whole lot more if, if they had enough manpower that they could do it and have a little more time to talk through the scales for everyone that's getting like a avoidable contact penalty or swerving penalty. Um, Because again, like, I think, I think you have that conversation as the protest official, then you kind of, once you, you know, make the decision, there's sometimes the officials will go to guys and the, you know, the victim will be like, no, let that go. Like that guy doesn't deserve a penalty, you know, and the series will leave it because they never really had the conversation until the uh, offending driver caused a protest. So I think that's actually a really good idea, Frank, and I appreciate you sending the comment in. So thanks for watching and tuning in. 